up YouTube and tour the franchise guy, country and with an awesome of Jaguars franchise hopping into the dr draft. We have the first overall pick. See there, we have two of the top three picks. That's great news right there. But Jake Fromm, gonna be the first overall draft pick. Hidden Dev, 69, nice overall, 21 years old, out of Georgia, the former Alabama backup. Yeah, there we go, stud finder, baby. Because, uh, yeah, we just drafted our franchise quarterback with the third overall pick, Jerry Judy, the wide receiver out of Alabama. You know, will be coming to play with Jake Fromm. Yeah, it's a good pick right there. Probably, number, probably the best receiver in the draft class, of course. So you get two great talents with the 15th overall pick. We'll be selecting halfback Travis Etienne. So we now have a franchise running back, a franchise quarterback, and a franchise receiver all within the lottery picks. Right here we will take Kenny Willicks, the 22nd overall pick. 70 normal run stopper out of Michigan State. Not too shabby. Christian Fulton. A hidden dev trait corner. Take him at number 25 in the draft. So three picks later, we're rounding out that defense a little bit. You know, he's six foot, 21, 190. He's a man-to-man -man guy, locked down. Mid six, uh, mid second round pick. Geez, the 29th overall pick will be Shane Lemieux. He's six six guard out of Oregon. Hopefully, be protecting uh, Jake Fromm for a long time. The 33rd ever pick will be Prince Tega Wanago, the 21-year-old 6'7 tackle out of Auburn. Terrell Lewis will be our 38th overall draft pick out of Alabama. So we got two Bama players now on this team. Marvin Wilson, the defensive tackle out of Florida State, will be making his professional debut in Jacksonville, the 61th overall pick. And David Reese, not far behind him, will be drafted at 65 again. All right, I guess we have to. I guess it glitched out. At 86, we'll be drafting Ben Cleveland, help show off that offensive line. Kavon Wallace, the free safety, will be drafted at 92. To your Jacksonville Jaguars. Khalid Kareem at 97, the left end out of Notre Dame. Not a bad pick, I think. Former Eagles, you know, star John Runyon Jr. was selected at 129. The right, the guard actually, not a tackle like his father. Jerry Jacobs, the defensive back, 5'11", 222, out of Arkansas State. We drafted at 134. Joe Gazzino, out of Virginia, will be selected at 137. Naquan Jones, the defensive tackle out of Michigan, will be drafted at 146. But that's our second Michigan player this game at this, I guess, this draft class. Brian London, the second out of Texas State, we drafted at 161. Reggie Walker, we have the right end out of Kansas State, we drafted at 169. Nice. We have Keith Washington, the West Virginian, you know, the defensive back right here, we drafted at 185. Got some okay depth, I guess. Rick DeBerry out of Oklahoma, who drafted at 186. Not a great overall starting for him, especially that normal. Harrison Bryant, the tight end out of FAU, would be drafted at 188 in the draft. Jalen Hurts, the quarterback out of Oklahoma, drafted at 192. Former, former Bama quarterback right there. Defensive tackle Jordan Elliott out of Missouri we drafted at 193. Chase Vinatieri, nephew of Adam Vinatieri, we drafted at 220 out of South Dakota State. Hopefully he's just as good as his uncle. But here's a quick look over our draft class. You see, we're paying uh, a lot of guys for the next four years, so hopefully they can help with our budget. We have 37.2 in caps. Hopefully something like this just does help us out. Because we could really use the boost from, you know, only having to pay these minimum salaries. Like, look at these. 2.3 million salaries for the majority of our roster. Signing bonuses are only 
the hundreds of thousands. But as an YouTube, peace out.